Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's reflect 2023 and what you can expect from this channel in 2024. This is not any tutorials kind of videos. I would first like to thank all of you who were part of this channel. In the beginning of 2023, I just started the channel to share my knowledge as I explore different things and it went well i didn't expect the channel to grow this fast and and also my priority of creating the video shifted from what i had initially thought let's reflect 2023 and then what kind of videos you might expect from this channel in 2024 right this is the channel as you can see here now i have 6.39k subscribers as of today january 5 thank you all of you who became part of this channel if you haven't subscribed and if you are watching this video please do so there are many many videos that i'm planning to create in 2024 let's just go through the channel what kind of videos i create right if i go to the playlist you can see here that there are some of the videos which were related to chat gpt things and jupiter lab terminal again virtual environments and lang chain chain lead Databricks, Llama Index, and Qubit, right? In the beginning, when I started the videos, my plan was to create more videos in data engineering, machine learning kind of things. But then these chat GPT things evolved and LLM things totally overtook the videos that I create because that is the video that most of you find it useful. When I create the videos related to data science or maybe let's say virtual environment, terminal commands, it seems based on the views, the viewers doesn't want to watch those kind of things, although that is the essential part, right? Then I shifted towards creating videos which are, which are, let's say, on demand and what you guys who are the viewers wanted me to create the videos. That's how it has been shifted. That's the recap of 2023. What to expect in 2024, right? Now, as, as usual, LLM hype is still there. You can expect me creating many videos in large language models and mainly as many, many top persons in LLM field are saying that 2024 will be the year of open source models. I will mainly focus on those kind of videos and how you can run models locally on your machine. Although you need to have a considerable amount of hardware requirements there. But I will try my best to create more of those videos. But of course, I will create the videos by using the APIs from the closed source model also. Because in, in enterprise level, let's say in a big companies, it's not the same because in enterprise, uh, the model must handle large amount of data and the uh, output or let's say uh, the end user there is a huge end user demand mainly i have seen people using aws or your open ai and now there is gemini which is being evolved and i have seen many people joining the gemini team from, from different companies meaning that the gemini model is also going to be a uh, let's say brilliant uh, within 2024 and within this uh, time frame maybe there will be many other models for example this mistral it is also evolving in, 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 in a rapid way. Yeah, there will be many, many new things popping up and I will try to cover as much as possible because what I do mainly is I try it myself and if I find it helpful and then I create the videos. I don't create each and every update from the LLM field. I don't have that much of time because I need to do my 9 to 5 job and then creating videos is my let's say i started as a hobby but then now as many of you joined i want to be consistent and at least you can expect one videos from this channel each week and that's my plan for 2024 and at this time you might be wondering also that okay why didn't i create the let's learn this thing in this amount of time roadmap of llm roadmap of data engineering roadmap of machine learning engineering and so on right but I don't want to create those kind of videos based on my experience. Because if you watch the videos, they say that, okay, watch Python for one month and then go for SQL for next month and next month. But I don't want to create those kind of videos because not each, like let's say that each and every one of us are not in the same level when they create the videos. I hate that big channels create those kind of videos on the surface level instead of touching the main goals and promoting their own courses and so on. Okay, it's good from their, from their side, but you don't need 
So let's say that don't fall on the trap of those kind of things. But instead of, okay, it's good that there is a roadmap that you can follow. It's good. But many of us, based on my experience and my other other knowledge, many people just leave it in the, in the roadmap. They don't go into the roadmap because it's difficult. In practice and in theory, it's difficult, right? It's different. Let's say different and difficult at the same time. You can say, okay, I will learn this, this, these things within five months. And it's not just learning, right? You need to do your daily stops also. Friends, families, you need to study, you need to do your job maybe. It's hard. Instead of creating those roadmap kind of videos, I might create the videos which uh, shows you, okay, what kind of things do you want to learn and what are the resources? They say that I, I might create the videos, okay, what are the courses or what are the websites that you need to go in order to uh, learn large language models? Or let's say machine learning, or let's say deep learning, or let's say data engineering kind of things. I, I might create the videos if you want, and if many of you wanted, then I will create those videos also. But I am I'm not going to create the roadmap kind of videos. And yeah, that's all. This is just a small sharing kind of things because many of you joined as i said you thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining this channel and whatever way you have joined you maybe some of you just subscribe some of you like the video some of you share the video and if you are new and as i said before also and if you are watching this video we'll do whatever you want to do and what i actually recommend to do is if you find the video useful because I know that you don't want to subscribe to each and every channel. You don't want to like the, each and every videos. But if that helped you in a way, just give a like. And if you find the channel and if you find other contents of the channel also interesting, then do subscribe. I don't want each and every one of you to subscribe because I know how it works. I, I myself don't do that. I don't expect each and every one of you to do the same. But at least provide support in one way or another so that it motivates of course me also to create the videos and also you know the youtube algorithm works in a way that if you share the videos or if you like the videos many people will get into it and then many people get the knowledge out of it that's just my request but it's up to you and in in the in the future i haven't created videos in gemini so probably you might be seeing me creating some of the videos three four videos introduction to gemini and how to use with langchain and some other frameworks also and there is multimodal kind of things also from gemini because i have already created videos in with llama index and uh, uh, langchain with uh, open ai things and also there were some open source models like this qbir things and private gpt which many of you find it helpful also i have updated those videos you can go and watch that that's a small update from my side. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.